How's it going everybody? My name is Nick. Welcome back to another Payday 2 video. Really appreciate everybody's support on the channel. I think we just recently hit 450 subscribers, which is crazy. I can't <laughs> blame Payday 2 getting that many subscribers to me is insane. So thank you guys so much for all the support. If you haven't already, join the Discord down below. Uh, it should be in the description down below. There should be a link to it. Um, really appreciate seeing you guys in the Discord that we have regular Payday 2 talks and talk about all things video game related and even more. So uh, if you want to find some people to play with or if you want to just chat about Payday, come join us down in the Discord below. Uh, we'd love to have you. Besides that, I do want to give a quick shout out. Just want to give a special thanks to uh, Puddles for helping me come up with this build. Habib's Crib, you'll see him in the gameplay. Uh, Eccentric Entertainer, Not Your Stalin, always have uh, critical information to share when it comes to Payday 2, uh, especially when it comes to numbers and damage calcs. So really appreciate you guys. And well, there's even more people I'm sure I'm forgetting that always help me with builds, including Drayload, uh, other people on the server that I just can't remember right now. Really appreciate you guys. Love talking to you. Um, Besides that, guys, that's all I have for now. Really appreciate your support. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Make sure to leave a comment down below telling me what you would change when it comes to the build, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. How's it going, everybody? Nick here. Welcome back to another Payday 2 video, and today is episode 10 of our perk deck series. We're going to be going over the Gambler perk deck today, one that surprisingly works well, but unfortunately falls short, and I would not consider Death Sentence viable. Regardless, I'm going to show you guys some gameplay, the build that I have going on for Gambler, and uh, I'll let you guys decide for yourself. Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of Gambler. Let me know what I should change and I'll be sure to check them out. I read every single comment I receive. So let's go ahead and take a look at the build. Okay, so before we get started, if you haven't joined the Discord already, there's a link down below. Come join us to talk about all things Payday related, video game related. We just have a great time. The reason I mention that is because this build actually comes from one of our Discord members, Puddles. Thank you, Puddles, for uh, giving me a build that actually works as far as Gambler goes. I was really struggling with finding a build that works for Gambler, um, and I think this has the possibility, this build in particular has the possibility to be Death Sentence viable. So please try it out for yourself. I tried it on Death Sentence. I could make it work the problem is, is that i'm not much of a death sentence player so when i play death sentence because i'm not used to it and that's something i rarely do i play a lot of death wish um it's very difficult for me and so you guys that are always playing death sentence and stuff like that you guys are probably would feel really successful with this build on death sentence as long as you're careful i think it works out really well so let's go ahead and take a look at the build take a look at the overview weapon skills the perk deck itself and everything and uh, then you guys can decide what you think after you look at some gameplay as well so for our armor, we're going to be using the lightweight ballistic vest and also going to be a little bit festive with our dapper dashing holiday suit. We're going to be using the first aid kit for our equipment, Kimbo blaster, 9mm submachine guns for our primary, street sweeper shotgun for our secondary. I'm pretty sure I call this the striker and that's because of me and my years of playing Call of Duty. Ignore that if you hear me call it the striker. I will be using the concussion grenade for our throwable, the buzzer for our melee, mainly to keep our concealment down so we can use our uh, crit chance. And then uh, for our skills, we see that we have a lot in enforcer and a technician and then gambler for our perk deck so let's go ahead and take a look at some skills okay so as far as skills go in mastermind we have combat medic and quick fix basic with uppers aced that's really important especially there's multiple times when you're trying to i don't know fix the drill or revive somebody being able to slap down that first aid kit so that if your health goes all the way down to zero it automatically consumes that first aid kit to bring you all the way back up to full health to give you a little bit more time it's very helpful in case you didn't know how uppers worked. And then in Enforcer, um, we're going to be using Underdog Basic, Shotgun Impact Basic, Shotgun CQB close by, uh, Shotgun CQB and close by Aced, as well as Overkill Aced. Now, the reason you have these, one, the reload time of the Street Sweeper is absolutely abysmal. So you got to make sure you have that reload time. Close by allows us to have an increased rate of fire with the Street Sweeper, and Overkill allows us to activate that 75% uh, damage bonus for 20 seconds with the street sweeper but it still applies to our uh, blaster submachine gun so we can kill somebody with the street sweeper switch back to our street or our uh, blaster nine millimeter uh, submachine gun sorry that allows us to have that 75% uh, damage increase and it just allows you to shred anything in your path and you'll see that in the gameplay even though I kind of suck even in the gameplay on death wish you'll see it, me be able to absolutely tear through enemies including dozers or whatever's in my way so we'll also be uh having resilience basic die hard aced and 
bullseye basic this is just for a little bit of extra armor when we need it uh die hard to increase that extra armor on the lightweight ballistic vest and then of course this is just to allow us to get other uh, perks but it also increases armor recovery rate we also have scavenger basic to help with ammo in technician we'll have hardware expert just as a pickup to help with drill skills steady grip ace fire control basic surefire ace lock and load ace and body expertise ace it's really nice in uh when you combine body expertise with overkill it is an absolute menace so i think you guys definitely need to try that out even if you want to change up weapons change up skills just try body expertise with overkill and make sure to be of course activating that with a shotgun because it can't be activated any other way except with a saw try that out it's absolutely amazing ghosts we have duck and cover basic second wind basic optical illusion and low blow ace this allows us to have more concealment and this allows us to be able to hit up uh, to the crit hit chance um since we are below i think it's 25 concealment is what allows us to have for the maximum amount of uh, crit chance if you have it aced so that's what we're at there fugitive we have equilibrium basic akimbo ace to have extra ammo capacity for our uh, dual nine millimeter blasters and nine lives ace of course if you're going to be playing death sentence you're going to want to have this it's not necessarily a requirement but you're probably going to want it um so i always just try and put that on my builds as something to point out if you were going to put that elsewhere you can if you don't think you really need it then i'm sure you can find some other skills to utilize Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the Gambler perk deck. I'm not going to go over everything in the perk deck, but the main thing that you have to remember with Gambler is as you kill people and ammo drops, that's how you are able to heal yourself. So if you pick up an ammo pack, you have lost a little bit of health. Then with this first one with Gambler uh, for medical supplies, um, it heals you for 16 to 24 health. This next one, uh, when you pick up ammo, you trigger an ammo pickup for 50% of normal pickup to other players on your team. Um, this can occur more than uh, more than once every five seconds and you also gain an increase of 20% more health so that allows you to be a team player which is really nice when you get healed from picking up ammo packs your teammates also get healed for 50% of the amount so you can heal your teammates as you go which is also very nice uh, increase health gain from ammo packs by additional eight and then increase uh, health gain from ammo packs by another additional eight so it's all about picking up those ammo packs helping your teammates out with ammo pickup and healing as well as healing yourself that's really all there is to Gambler. So now you can kind of see because there isn't too much there, it does make it very difficult to use on Death Sentence. But again, try this build out on Death Sentence. Tell me what you think down in the comments below. Time to take a look at weapons. So for the secondary, of course, you can pause or sorry, not secondary, primary. You can pause right here if you want to take a look at all the stats, but you also see it as we go through the modifications. I don't have everything unlocked for the Akimba Blasters, but what i have i think works fine now of course you could always get the ghetto blaster which allows you to be able to increase um, damage actually stability but your concealment goes down which i think even with the lightweight ballistic vest if you have these guys on you increase all that and i still think you'll be under that threshold to keep that max crit chance i have on the medved r4 suppressor it doesn't take too much damage but it also increases your accuracy and your uh, stability i have the concealment boost on to help with uh, keeping our crit chance up i put on the auto fire increases damage and stability actually goes down a tiny bit but it's it's very nice to be able to auto fire these guys before i think they're um i think they're just like a one tap like as you shoot it's like one bullet coming out each time definitely try out the uh, auto fire not a requirement but something i prefer have compact laser module to help with um hip fire and extended mag is another one of those things that i think would be very uh, useful to be able to have a total of 94 rounds per mag quote unquote magazines but um and it also increases your stability but that's one thing that i don't have unlocked i haven't secured six bags of meth on day one of the hotline miami job apparently thought i did but i guess not for our ammunition we're gonna be using the ap slugs mainly to help out with shields and be able to take them out you'll see me do that as i go through the gameplay we'll be using the long barrel to help with accuracy and stability we'll also be using the silent killer suppressor minus four in damage but we get an increase in stability uh, stability and it allows us to get a little bit extra in concealment because we have on the uh, perk that allows us to do that optical illusions we'll also have concealment as a boost we'll also have the compact laser module no secondary sight and no sight so now that we've taken a look at the weapons skills perk deck and everything else in between it feels like let's go ahead and take a look at some death wish gameplay nice and easy time for a casual stroll into the bank yeah casual stroll into the bank yeah all right it's go time i guess huh Nice, nice. Alright. Nope. 
not open. We need to find. We'll have to find the. Ah. Why not just hack the computers? I, I don't understand. Why don't you just hack the computers? Uh, let me handle this, you know? Is it in here? On the floor. Over here? No, Somewhere? Mr. IT guy? Is that you? There yeah. I think I have it set to public, but of course, keep in mind since we are, since we have AI, uh, I do have a couple of perks that are activated, such as like a faster reload, faster interaction speed, things like that. So just don't take that into account. Um, why do you, why do you have to go here? Oh, I see. I thought he had to go through there. I was so confused, man. Okay. Go. Aiden. Level 13. Oh. Go Aiden. Go Aiden. Go. Go Aiden. Go Aiden. Go. Welcome in, buddy. Overkill plus body expertise is just insane. Even on Death Sentence, I've I've used this build on Death Sentence, and um, it doesn't work very well for me specifically because you know you lack of dodge and if you, I mean if you get shot like two or three times you're down um, but the damage output is unreal even on death sentence man so props to puddles for making this build he did a good job with uh, he did a good job with having all that damage being able to be put out in such a quick time um, I mean, even, as you can see, even on Death Wish, which is, you know, of course not as good as Death Sentence and things like that, but um, even on those, even on that difficulty, I can just plow through enemies, right? So. Okay. Hold on, I gotta reload. Oh. Oh my gosh, man. Of course, I get smacked with the with the cloaker. The only thing that gets me about this build sometimes, or about specifically about Gambler, is I'm trying to replenish health, and I'm like, why aren't I replenishing health? And it's because I have max ammo, so if you're not able to grab any ammo, then uh, of course you're not going to replenish any health because you can't pick up any ammo packs. So, you just always got to keep in mind your health and your uh, ammo. Was going to be easy. First aid kit ready. 
to bring in the beast. Okay. Clear the square. Luckily, we aren't in an assault right now. Why are all of them told to stay? Where are these dozers? Are they under here? Ah, I see. Let me see if I can get... Okay. Got overkill real quick. Sometimes I get a little trigger happy and just kind of start wasting all of my ammo, but it helps with Gambler anyways, because you got to replenish your ammo to replenish health, so. Yeah. try and get him. May end up in my death, but who knows. Found one. What the? Why did it make that sound? doesn't have any healing I see oh no Dallas why are you playing on death wish level 34 brother oh he disconnected okay that's fine Wow. Of course it comes out as soon as I walk outside. That's crazy, man. There's no way this guy doesn't go down. There's no way he doesn't go down. There's no way Chains does not go down. No way. Okay, well this is great. Okay. Well, that was a catastrophe. Yeah. 
Okay. Whew. Sorry, I had to focus in there for a little bit. Anyways, as I was saying, I don't know if I mentioned this already, and I'm sure I'm just talking in circles, but Gambler, as far as death sentence goes, um, I would not recommend it. It's very, um, very all over the place. I mean, I guess that's what you should expect from a perk deck literally called Gambler, but, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's something else. And on death sentence, it's so unreliable that it makes it really difficult to use effectively. And I'm sure there's going to be some people in the comments going to be like, no, Gambler's amazing. You should be using it on death sentence all the time and things like that. And I know, uh... Puddles, who actually gave me this build in particular, um, is a big uh, Gambler fan. Which, if you guys like Gambler and stuff like that, that's totally fine. I, I actually really, really like Gambler in a sense of like using it on Death Wish or Mayhem. It's a lot of fun. It, you get rewarded for being so aggressive. The issue is with Death Sentence, in order to be so aggressive and put out such a massive amount of damage like we are here, we lose... Uh, I guess maybe uh, defense like with armor or we you know we just lose things trying to be able to do that and so when you get on the death sentence it's just a little too much I'm sure if you're a good death sentence player if you're a good death sentence player then try gambler on death sentence and you might have a blast you might absolutely love it for me I'm saying no, and I'm saying that I don't think, I think it would only work for the amount of people that are just really good at death sentence, right? And I'm not one of those people, so maybe that's what I'm lacking, but... Okay. Anyways, yeah. Overall, Gambler, fun perk deck, but uh, not an effective one, in my opinion. Not as effective. If you would re... I think if they were to buff Gambler and say that you regain health for every ammo pack you pick up... If you were to pick, and it's not like you have that, I forget if it's 1.5, 2 second timer to where you're able to regain health based on ammo that you pick up again. If they didn't have that, I think that you really could make this a really good build and be super aggressive with it. And even on death, uh, death sentence. Uh-oh. And you could just be lining up rows of ammo to pick up and you're just constantly healing. So I think it would make it uh, better. Um, but even still, if you just don't have ammo lying around, if it's out in the open that causes you to get hit by a sniper, then, you know, I I don't know. It's still very situational. Um, so that's kind of my two cents with Gambler. Overall, really fun perk deck but not a reliable one. And again, that's my opinion. If you disagree, let me know down in the comments and let me know why you disagree. Um, but it not being reliable isn't very surprising since it's literally called Gambler. So, <laughs> But overall, this, this particular build, I absolutely love it. It's unreal the amount of damage you can put out, man. It's unreal. I can just be running around just gunning people and I have no issues. I can run face first into a dozer and have no issues. I mean, it's unreal. <laughs> And body expertise with it, man, it's just, it's just great. It's just great. So definitely, at least, I would say, at least try out this build for yourself uh, on Death Sentence. And if you guys want to see some Death Sentence in the future, particularly with this build, let me know. I can always upload it just separately. I have Death Sentence footage. I didn't end up using it because I went down more than I wanted, and it just looks bad. 
um, it makes it look like the build is completely worthless. Whereas here on Deathwish, you can see how it would be good. And part of the reason that that happens on Destiny is because I suck at the game. So I wanted to be able to showcase this build for you guys and then say, let me try this on Death Sentence. And so you can see for yourself. Um, whereas I'm more of a Deathwish player, um, people on Death Sentence probably are going to be able to handle this a little bit better. So try it out. Let me know what you think down in the comments down below. Okay. So we... What, are just waiting on the drill now with 10 seconds left on the drill. Also, this is a uh, take two. I had a... I was originally uh, recording on Golden Grin. Because I was thinking, you know, like, Gambler, Golden Grin. Ah, Habib Scrib! Welcome in, brother. If you're not in the Discord already, come join us, like Mr. Habib Scrib, who is already in the Discord. Um, we would love to have you. As I was saying, I originally was uh, recording a Golden Grin, you know, with, like Gambler with Golden Grin. I thought it would match up pretty good. Um, but then I had my cat knock over my drink on my desk and everything was getting soaked so i literally lost that footage because we all just like i said brb my cast spilled something i was playing with randoms and everybody went down while i was gone and then i went down before i could get back to do anything so yep uh, so here i am because i felt like this would take less time than uh golden grin i went with this one with san martin so hopefully you guys can forgive me for that. Weapons down. Ow. I got like knocked halfway across the planet there. Oh my gosh. Ow! Sniper. Back up I go. Again, I hope you guys are okay with this being on Death Wish difficulty. I've had people in the past say, well, if it's on Death Wish, that means the build sucks. Again, sometimes builds function differently in the hands of different players. So, as somebody, I know about myself that I'm not that great when it comes to maybe just the game in general. <laughs> I'm not that great, but with certain people, they can make death sentence, uh, or they can make this build work on death sentence, right? So, okay, 
I guess what I'm trying to say is, like, don't count this build out just because this is on Death Wish, okay? There's a lot of good things about this build, and I really think you guys should try it. So, just check it out for yourself. Let me know what you think. There's another sentry. Okay, this is good. Yeah, I, I mean, I kind of knew that was going to happen. There's not much I can do about it. Um, I'm just kind of making stupid decisions at this point. We're all running FAKs. Go ahead and get some first aid kits out in the open there. If I can get another, uh, I say we just get out of here, man. First aid kit. Oh, I'm out now. Cool. So, that's the Gambler build. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Shout out to the guys in the Discord and everybody that helped me make this build. And shout out to you guys in the comments for always giving me good criticism and feedback on things that I can change and adjust with the build. So... Hope you guys have a Merry Christmas, and I hope you guys enjoyed this build. Peace out, and I'll see you in the next one.